Hello, and uh, welcome to my helmet for uh, part two of How to Master Downhill Corners. We're currently at the top of Guardsman Pass, which is like almost 3,000 meters of elevation, like around close to 10,000 feet. Um, it's a beautiful morning, and we're going to take on one of the hardest roads around here. Uh, it's called Pine Canyon Drive, but I thought you would like to see the spectacular view from up here as we get started and we talk about some of the key concepts of riding downhill corners first is grip comes from weight so uh, we are going to use the front brake a lot as the weight of the bike shifts towards the front we have grip and you're going to be able to see because i put a camera over my hand you can see what i'm doing with my throttle and my brake and uh, they are going to be synced up so you can see in real time what's going on uh, something else we are never ever going to overlap throttle and front brake. It is a bad technique. It is based entirely on one guy misunderstanding a racer and then publishing that misunderstanding in a book. Uh, the racer was actually talking about overlapping the rear brake with the throttle to manage wheelies and as a pre-electronic traction control on old 500cc two-stroke race bikes. Uh, it doesn't work. It basically it puts the bike into a situation where it doesn't want to slow down and it doesn't turn. So we're not going to use it. And finally, uh, because we're on the public road, we have to be ever mindful of oncoming traffic. That means I'm not really going to be as swoopy as I would like to be. I can't really open up my turns as much as I would like because I have to be aware that there could be a Dodge Ram pickup truck coming up the other way in the middle of the road at any moment. And beyond that, uh, welcome along for the ride. This is a beautiful morning, and I'm just gonna try to talk you through what I'm doing and what I am thinking as I am thinking it. And hopefully I don't make too many mistakes. It is surprisingly hard to do this and ride extremely proficiently. Uh, you make a lot of mistakes when you're trying to think of the next clever thing to say to entertain you fine folks. Here we go, first tight turn. You see a braking, downshifting, you see someone skid off the track right, or the road right there. I'm still slowing, taking it tight. Oh, look at all that gravel. See, check that out. Real life here, folks. This is not manufactured. Whee! I'm gonna be riding the motorcycle based on direction. I'm going to slow until I'm happy with my speed and until I get the motorcycle pointed and I'm not gonna go back to the throttle until I can see, until I have visibility. Oh, we got a Corvette here. Hopefully we can get around him. I don't know what all these people here are doing. But let's see if we can sneak around this Corvette because we will probably be going quicker than him. All right, breaking into the turn. Nice tight one. having a nice morning. I'm going to slip by him. Thank you. But yeah, I'm a big believer in uh, ride at the speed that brings you the most amount of joy. Within reason, of course. But I can't imagine going Mach 2 on a public road is that joyful. Oh, that was nice. That felt good. him on the brakes, just kind of helping put weight into that front tire. Now something else, a lot of comments on part one, and if you haven't seen part one, go watch it right now. It'll probably be in that corner, uh, that corner. Uh, a lot of people recommended downshifting and relying on engine braking. We actually don't want to do that. In fact, in a lot of these turns, I will run a higher gear to ensure that the engine's running smoothly, that I get really smooth transitions. And I don't need a lot of power to drive out of these corners because I'm going downhill. I have gravity to help pull the bike out of corners. And I want to rely on my front brake. I want to be in a situation where I feel obligated to use that front brake because that's where the stability comes from. That's where the control comes from. I can add and subtract really tiny amounts of front brake pressure and be incredibly precise I have more control with my front brake than I do with engine braking. And as my dad always said, brake pads are cheaper than engines. So we want to use the brakes. All right, we're about to the good stuff here. Let's 
going to start getting fun. Lovely views up here. Right, trail breaking in. I can't really see, so I'm staying kind of close to the edge of the road. Nice. I got some visibility. Still staying over here. Nice. I can accelerate out. Have a little fun through the dip. Woo! See, there's a Ram pickup truck right in the middle of the road. As expected, on cue. And why is it always the Ram? All right, trail breaking in, off the brakes, accelerating out. I'm not going into the oncoming lane. I'm really kind of hugging the side. I have decent visibility here, so I'm gonna clip that apex. Back to the brakes, I'm slowing. A little bit of gas. Back to the brakes. Oh, we have a rock right there. We'll go around the inside of that. We have visibility and out we go. Too easy. So much fun. This road used to be really janky and bumpy, but they repaved it for the tour of Utah. I, I kind of miss it when it was janky because nobody rode it back then or drove it. Now you'll see dump trucks on it. On the brakes, controlling my speed. Look at that view. On the brakes, I'm gonna take in tight because I can't see. There's my visibility and out I go. Now, if you want to keep up with your buddies in the canyons, don't try to be fast in the corners. Set yourself up to be fast out of the corners. We want to get the bike turned and pointed and where we can see, and then we get to turn the go fast knob. And I hear you. I like going fast. Turning that go fast knob is fun. Look at that guy right in the middle of the road. Three giant pickup trucks, because this is the road for a giant pickup truck. Nice. Love it. It's all about smooth. First and last 5%. Really blind one. Really steep one. I hope the camera conveys that. There we go. Out I come. Yippee. <laughs> Remember guys, motorcycling is fun. The reason why we go to all this effort to learn and become more proficient is to make riding more fun. Look at the Ford was on his side of the road. What was I just saying about dump trucks? Yeah, that's the road for dump trucks. We don't need to overlap brake and throttle to find smoothness. We do that with our hand. First and last 5%. Slash, I'm like on the brakes. Off the brakes. A little bit of acceleration. No problem. Slowing. This is a really fun one. Changing directions. I'm staying on the brakes the whole time through a transition. I'm staying tight. I can't see. Can't see. There's my visibility. Tighter and tighter and tighter. Yay! Oh, see, it wasn't that great. That was so much fun. I should do that again. All right, stay wide. I can't really see. I got some visibility. There it is. Now I go. I'm not willing to commit to a corner until I can see. I will stay very conservative on the brake or at neutral throttle until I have my visibility, until I can see the exit. There's too much risk to go to the gas early. This one just goes on forever. See? Wahoo! We're allowed to have fun. Road narrows. It's kind of hard to imagine. Oh yeah, boy it does. Stay wide. All right. Kind of a little rough through there. It's a tight one. There's my visibility. 
stability to the brake. Stay tight. There's my visibility. Now a lot of you folks said you struggle more with uphill turns than downhill. Uh, we will make a video for you. We are already in the beginning stages of developing that content. So if you're like, yeah, downhill corners are cool, rock on. But the uphill ones scare me. We got something coming for you. Ooh, this one keeps going and going. Ooh, stay with the brake. You see that? It is fun to turn the go fast knob. We're almost to the bottom. Speed limit on the road is 15 and they're giving us 20 mile, hour, 20 mile an hour corner advisory speeds. Don't trust science, folks. But no problem, right? We just used our brakes to control our speed and slow till we were happy and had direction. It's not easy, but it's not complicated. It is surprising. So I've been riding go oh, for a long time, since the 80s. Got my first street bike, I think in 88 or 89. And I'm still trying to get good at this. How many things in life are that entertaining for that long where you're constantly trying to improve? Right? Guitar, music, always room to improve there. Ooh, a center line. Remember these things? Ah, this is way easier, huh? The center line is like a Kind of like a comfort blanket, isn't it? Just like makes you feel all good on the inside. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Mastering Downhill Corners Part 2. Click on the things. Consider joining as a channel member. Our Discord server is really kicking off right now. Uh, so yeah, come, come hang out with us over on Discord. Again, thanks for watching. Ride on and ride well.